Hey my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck once again. Thanks so very much for joining me. Big hello to all of my new subscribers and a welcome back to my current subscribers. Guys, on today's segment of Clearly Canadian, I'm going to be doing a recipe that I actually invented myself. Now, Canadians love to barbecue. We love to grill and many of us do it year round. In the snow, in the rain, in the heat, we're out there. We're a tough bunch. Guys, what I'm going to be showing you today is so simple, but you will never have the most succulent chicken in your life, I guarantee you. Guys, today we're making what I call my drunken spicy chicken, or drunk spicy chicken. It's really easy to prepare, but like I said, this chicken will literally melt in your mouth. So without further ado, let's get all the things that we're going to need to grill up this amazing chicken. Let's go, eh? Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen countertop as usual. And as usual, all of the ingredients I use will be listed below. Just click show more. Guys, there's not a lot of ingredients, but this is again amazing. So what I have here are some whole chicken breasts from my butcher. I gave them a rinse. I'm just going to pat them dry just to make them easier to handle. Um, you don't have to because this is going straight into a marinade. But like I said, just makes it easier to handle. And they're quite large and this would be, well I'm going to get rid of these. This would be four chicken breasts. These are, as I said, complete. So in essence, I'm using four quite large chicken breasts here. Right. So we have that. I'm just going to go ahead and separate them. And then what I have back here, guys, is some minced garlic. I'm cheating, I'm using the frozen type. I don't particularly like the bottle or the jar type because it doesn't taste like fresh garlic to me. That's just my personal choice. But this is um, minced garlic and it's just frozen. So it's the real thing. Guys, you can use this, it's not a problem. You can even just roughly chop up some garlic. Um, it's, again, going into a marinade. That being said, Let's pop our chicken in here. And I'm gonna put in all this garlic. And again, guys, it's versatile. Don't skip the garlic, but the amount you use is completely up to you. You can use less than I, you can use more than I. Right, so that's in. And then I have some lemons here. I'm gonna do this all in one tank, guys, because it's so, so simple. So I'm gonna juice my lemons. And guys, when I first uh, and thought of this recipe, it was years ago, and it became one of those things where my friends started requesting it. Oh, can you make that chicken with the lemon and the hot sauce? So, one of my fondest memories is going up to the cottage or the trailer and putting this on the grill. Just amazing. So in total, I'm going to use three lemons to start off with. And we'll see how that works out. If I need one more, I'll put one more. It seems like a lot, guys, but again, this is a marinade, don't forget. Smells really good. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so I got my lemons. I'm gonna set that aside for a sec. A step that's really, really, really important, guys. You need to stab your chicken. Take out your frustrations and stab that chicken. And you can use a fork. really want to do this step to ensure all of the marinade gets right in the chicken breast. Guys, chicken breasts 
typically are quite dry. And to be quite honest with you, I don't use them in a lot of my recipes. I just find that they're very dry. I prefer thighs. Now you can use um, skinless, boneless thighs in this recipe. As a matter of fact, use any type of chicken you want. But this is the time when this recipe, feel free to go ahead and use the lovely chicken breast. Because uh, trust me, it will not, not be dry. So, let's go ahead and add that beautiful fresh lemon juice. Oh, that's perfect. I don't need any more. They were quite juicy, actually. I probably could have gotten away with two. I'm gonna crack open a beer. Use your favorite. It doesn't matter, guys. The goal is we just want everything covered. That's great. That's enough. And there's some left for me. Then what you're gonna do is use your favorite hot sauce. Guys, it depends again on you and your, and your tastes. Again, don't forget this is a marinade. It will penetrate the chicken. It will be spicy. So the sauce that you use and the amount you use, up to you. I'm using Frank's Red Hot because, well, I love it. And I'm not being paid by them, but as the commercial says, I put that on everything. <laughs> and I'm going to be more generous than I would normally be because, again, this is a marinade. Already, this smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and salt this just a little bit for now. And we'll give it some cracked black pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, we'll probably season this more um, just before it goes on the grill. So now you're gonna give this a mix and mix up. And you're gonna place this in the fridge. You can cover it if you like. Um, Place this in the fridge for at least an hour, guys, minimum. If you have longer, I recommend you leave it longer. The lemon will, will not cook the chicken, so don't be alarmed, but it, it's an acid. So, um, you know, if you ever had um, ceviche or something like that, it does quote unquote cook um, the food, but it, obviously you can't eat the chicken. So um, just don't be alarmed if you see you know, the chicken turning a bit white on the edges. That's completely normal and fine. It's getting soft and tender like butter. So, put this in the fridge, have a drink, listen to some music, make your sides if you want, and I'll bring you back when it's ready to go out on the barbecue. Okay guys, I've taken my chicken out of the fridge and it's marinated for quite a while. And as you can see, the color has changed a bit. It's got a little bit opaque, um, white, and that's fine. So um, I also put in here some of the marinating liquid and I have my basting brush, which I will baste um, some of this on the barbecue. So I'm gonna put them on the bottom side facing me first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season these just a bit of sea salt, or I'm using pink Himalayan. Just a bit. And some cracked black pepper. Now, I shall place these bottom side down on the grill, and then, I will season the top um, while they're on the grill um, with the same way, salt and some pepper, and when they get flipped, they'll be seasoned. So, I'm just gonna go out to the grill and let's start grilling these chicken breasts. Hey guys, while the grill is getting hot into temperature, 
I want to go ahead and make a simple sauce. So what I have, the pan's getting hot. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of oil. And then I have the same amount of flour. I'm going to stir this around until the flour starts to cook off and cooks out that raw flour flavor. Now guys, we're going to use our marinade. And it's simply fine to use the marinade that you've marinated the chicken in as long as it's cooked through. It has to come to a boil. So continue cooking your flour until it smells nutty and brown. It's starting to get there now. And then you can start adding in the marinade that we had marinating our chicken in. You're gonna go a little at a time. Wow, it smells really good. <laughs> Keep stirring and mixing, getting the lumps out of the gravy. It'll come, or out of the flour rather, it'll come together. Let's keep adding the marinade. And I'll bring you back when this all comes together. All right, guys, the sauce is starting to come together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a bit of water. And a chicken bouillon cube. And I'm not going to season this at this point because we're gonna taste it after. In, it should, should it require some salt and pepper, we'll go ahead and add that. So go ahead now and just continue to cook your sauce. Let it reduce slightly. Turn it down to a simmer. Now that it's come to a boil, you can uh, turn it down to a simmer. Keep it hot, warm, and when it's time to eat, we can go ahead and use this over our chicken. Hey guys, my sauce is really nicely thickening up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sprinkle it with some fresh coriander. If you can use parsley if you don't like coriander. And I've just roughly chopped it. Turn your heat off at this point and just allow this to set aside um, until we're, we need it. Um, it'll thicken up slightly. If you need to reheat it, this takes a second. You can reheat it, that's fine. I've tasted it, it's perfect. Doesn't need anything. No salt, no pepper, it's perfect. So guys, put this aside. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the chicken off the grill. Hey guys, our drunken spicy chicken is all done off the grill. It smells incredible. I put a bit of our sauce. You know what? Let's put some more. It's so good. Oh, yes. 
I have already actually had a half of one of these chicken breasts and it was so tender, so good. Guys, I'm just serving it up simply with a um, cucumber feta salad and if you want this recipe, I shall post the link below in the description and also at the uh, end of this video in the credits. Guys, oh my god, I, 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 I just wish you can smell this. It smells amazing. It tastes incredible. Do this recipe guys, it's so easy, but you will seriously amaze your friends. They'll think that you bought this at a restaurant. They won't believe you, it's amazing. Guys, please share, please like, please comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, why not do so? If not, that's okay too. But please believe me when I say thank you so very much for watching this segment of Clearly Canadian here on the Yuriko King Canuck. We'll see you next time. There'll be a few pics to follow. Thank you so much. Ciao for now.